Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create depth of field in an image where the object is touching a part of the, the ground. So you'll notice this girl's feet are touching the ground down here. This is going to be a little bit different. You're still going to use a gradient uh, mask, but uh, the situation is just going to call for a little bit of different technique. So as you can see, I've made my selection and I've selected my girl. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to add a little bit to the selection. So I'm going to click on my marquee tool and it's really not going to matter what I add. I'm just going to add like about that much of it of the bottom to uh, to the selection of her. So now I'm going to create a copy of this and similarly to like what we did on the last one uh, I'm going to blur this background first I'm just gonna save this selection that I made and if you guys didn't know that you could save your selections to do that all you have to do is go to the select menu and you're gonna go to save selection I'm gonna call this portrait of lady and click OK. It's going to create a new channel. So if I ever want to get that back, all I have to do is go to Select, and I go to uh, Load My Selection right here, and I'm going to click on Channel, and I'm going to do Portrait of Lady, and it's going to load my channel. Then I'm just going to mask her out on that layer. I'm going to create another layer now, and just like we did on the last one, I'm going to blur this background layer. So I'm going to go to uh, Filter and Gaussian Blur. I'm going to blur that background. So you can see that I have this part masked. If I turn this on, you'll see I have my, uh, this one here is completely solid and, and, and uh, focused. Then I'm just gonna add a mask to that one. I'm gonna go up and click on my gradient, make sure I have black to transparent. I'm gonna click where I wanna start dragging down and it's going to create the effect in the background. So just like that. So this keeps her in focus, plus it keeps this bottom part of the ground in focus. That way, uh, if your object is touching something, uh, it, it'll keep it uh, in the correct uh, plane of focus. So that's what this is called, where she's standing. This is the plane of focus. So that has to also be in focus if she's in focus. Okay, so one other option is you could create a sliver of focus on the uh, focal plane where she is standing. And to do that, I'm going to delete this mask. And I'm going to apply... Instead of using a linear gradient, which is what I used previously, I'm going to apply this gradient, which is, it's kind of like, leaves a line. And what's going to happen is if I use black here, and I drag, oh, well, first I have to make a mask. And then if I drag uh, up, it's creating a plane of focus by doing that. So I just want to go to probably about, let's say right there. So the thing is I can see this mask on that. So what I could do is I can get that. I can take my brush and come over here and then just mask out on this top mask uh, that area of the ground like so. Making sure not to accidentally erase the mask that I had for her here. So that creates a, a narrower, a more shallow I guess depth uh, and focal area and plane of focus. So you can see this is more narrow now than it was previously. And that's a, a, a way that you can do that because when, you, when you're using an f-stop that's really, really large, your plane of focus is going to be so narrow, it's going to be uh, blurry in the front as well as in the back. So keep that in mind if you want to try to mimic that sort of